let's consider the work done while moving a couch. We're moving a couch to a new position on our living room floor. We know the normal force. We know the coefficient of friction. And we want to know how much work is done by the frictional force as we move this couch. Along this path, first three meters to the right and then one meter up. This is a top view. We're not lifting up our couch. We're just sliding it along. To do this, maybe I should label this as a top view. To do this, we will say that our work done by friction as we move from A to B is equal to the force of friction, which will be kinetic friction because we're sliding, times the distance we move, times the cosine of the angle between the force and the displacement. Where here, since the force of friction is always opposing the direction of motion, this will always be 180 degrees. And so when you evaluate this, you will get a negative one. This will result in our work being done by friction as negative, which is generally what you expect for things like friction or wind resistance that oppose the direction of motion. We can now substitute in what we know for kinetic friction. It's equal to mu k n. And substitute in now the values for these properties. 0 0.6 for our mu k. N is our normal force, which is one kilonewton. And D is our distance. Here, I might have split it up into two different legs, but because the frictional force changes as we change the leg, we can just keep it consistent and say that it'll be the distance for our first leg plus the distance for our second leg. When we evaluate those, we get negative 2.4 kilojoules because we have kilonewtons times meters that gives us kilojoules. The work done by friction ends up negative 2.4 kilojoules. We're not satisfied though. We don't like it in the new spot, so we move it back. And rather than taking our straight to the wall and then slide along the wall, we just move it straight back. What's the total work done against friction, moving the couch away from its original position and back again? All right, we want the work done against friction. So now we'll say the work done by friction, and then we'll just take the negative of that to get the work done against friction. So the work done by friction coming back from B to A is going to be the same thing that we did before, but now with a different path length. Now it's going to be this path length, which we can get from a right triangle using the Pythagorean formula, the length on this hypotenuse will be the square root of three squared plus one squared in meters. Let's plug that in and say that'll be 0.6 as our mu k. The normal force is still the kilonewton. And now the distance is instead of what it was before, it will be the square root of three squared plus one squared. So that's the square root of 10 in meters which gives us a work done by friction for the second leg of negative 1.9 kilojoules. We can add those together and say that the work done by friction on net is going to equal the work done as we moved it from A to B, plus the work done by friction as we move it back from B to A. We add the negative 2.4 and the negative 1.9, and that gives us negative 4.3 kilojoules. That's the work done by friction. We want the work done against friction. So the work done against friction will just be the negative of that, or a positive 4.3 kilojoules in order to overcome that friction.